If you ever wanted to take a look at carbon fiber PLA filament for your 3D printer, then stay tuned. This video is for you. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna to be testing some PLA carbon fiber filament. Now this particular roll is made by Tech Bears. Uh, I've used their filament in the past, really, really loved it, really, really strong stuff, and they made a carbon fiber filament, so I wanted to go with a company that I trust, and this is one of those companies. I trust Tech Bear, so I went ahead and spent about around 25 bucks. I'll put the real price I paid right here for this. I did buy this with my own money because I was just curious about strength with carbon fiber, and, and I was curious how it would print. I went ahead and did a temperature tower, like I always do, and it did print pretty well, a little chunky with the stringing. It's carbon fiber, so, you know, the fibers are going to show off. But this did print really well, a standard temperature, which was 210. So I figured 210 for this stuff, and we'll take a quick look at this. So as you know, carbon fiber is supposedly really strong. It's almost as strong as, like, metal in some aspects. So when they said they were going to put this into a filament, I was very, very interested because we can make stronger things and more functional things. So the biggest thing that I want to check today is what is the strength of this? So I'm gonna really, I wanna focus on the strength. So that, that's what we wanna look at today. The strongest filament that I have is Duramic 3D's PLA Plus. This has been the strongest stuff that I have used. They do send me this stuff for free. That's why I print 90% in Duramic, but if it was crap guys, I would not accept their stuff because I'll tell you right now if you're a 3d printer there's nothing worse than a crappy roll of filament their stuff prints really really well and really really smooth I reached out to them for this video and asked if they'd send me another roll of their Duramic 3d to go up against the carbon fiber and they said yes they had no problem with me putting it up against tech bears carbon fiber if they didn't say yes I'd still be buying this filament it's really really good stuff and it's just strong strong stuff I've done a lot of cool stuff with this stuff some stuff that I can't put on this channel and it holds up really, really, really well. I'll be honest with you, I'm really hoping this beats out the PLA Plus. Being that it's carbon fiber, it should really, really do the trick. Now, once you get the settings in right, it does print really, really well. And just for those who get a little scared about this, this is just a pepper spray gun. It's a self-defense pepper spray gun. The one part is made with the carbon fiber, the Tech Bear carbon fiber. It printed really nice, little rough around the edges, nothing horrible. The other part was the orange. It's the Duramic that's actually in my printer right there. And just to show you, it's just a little water mace cartridge. That's all that is. And it goes right in here and then it has a little trigger. So this might get me demonetized, but I just wanted to show you how well it printed in the carbon fiber. Laying this flat, I usually cut this in half and lay it flat. It wasn't working out. It worked, but it wasn't, it was getting very stringy and it wasn't liking it. So standing this up and down to print the frame was what I did. All right, so to test the strength of Tech Bear's carbon fiber filament, I'm stealing a trick from CNC Kitchen, his little hooks. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing today. I did four sets of hooks. One set at 20% and another set at 100% infill. So 20% infill, 100% infill. I did these hooks, one laying down, one straight up and down. This is done on a standard Ender 3. It's actually a clone of an Ender 3. It's the this way right here, but it's an Ender 3 standard. Now the PLA Plus likes 220 to print at, so it's a higher temperature. The bed adhesion was only 60, for those of you who want to know. And everything was the same except for the temperature with the carbon fiber it was 210 that that seems to be its operating temperature that I came up with and I want to show you the results of that test all right so this is not like a scientific test basically what I'm doing is I'm taking like little weights that I had that I used to work out with and I'm just using the hook in some aspects I used a rope hooked to the top and hung it that way in some aspects I just took the hook and lifted it up with the weight so I'm sorry it's not super scientific I don't have everything done up like CNC kitchen. I just was curious about the strength and I just kept adding weight in five pounds. All right, so let's start with the straight up and down 20% infill, carbon fiber. I started them at five pounds, did no problem with that. When I went to 10 pounds, we had a snap. It just, it just failed. 
10 pounds. So that's not very good for the carbon fiber. The Duramic at 20% straight up and down got up to 20 pounds. 20 pounds. I did it in five increments and at 20 pounds it finally gave in. You know, showing the two of these together straight up and down and that's where layer adhesion kind of counts where it's laid on top of each other. Not the strongest way to 3D print a hook if you will. Kind of want to lay it down so that way all the strength is built up going across. So this is more of like an adhesion test. Next we did them laying down at 20%. So laying down at 20%, the carbon fiber first did about 45 pounds. It actually held up really nicely, 45 pounds, and then it finally snapped. Duramic at 20%, laying down, only did 40 pounds. So this is where the carbon fiber looks like it's kind of beating out the Duramic in that aspect as far as strength. So the PLA Plus against the carbon fiber at 20%, laying down, it actually beat out Duramic in that aspect. So really cool, really excited about this now. So now I'm curious about the 100% infill. Will the 100% infill make a difference with the carbon fiber? Thinking more fibers, more PLA, kind of woven together, it'll make it stronger. The carbon fiber straight up and down at 100% died at 10 pounds. Again, 10 pounds snapped right there and then. The Duramic, on the other hand, 100%, 35 pounds straight up and down. Really, really strong stuff. I was like, wow. And I remember that from my last video, but it just to see the difference of carbon fiber at 100%, I was like, kind of baffled about that one. So I was really hoping the results would be better laying down. So the carbon fiber laying down, 100% infill, I got up to 55 pounds before it snapped. 55 pounds and it just, it snapped. So. What did the Duramic do? Laying down 100% infill, I got 70 pounds out of the Duramic. So it snapped at 70 pounds with this little hook. I was flabbergasted. I was really hoping the carbon fiber would beat it out and I'd have something even newer and stronger, but it looks like the Duramic really came out on top. The only part that it didn't come out on top was, was at the 20% infill. So it leads me to believe that you could make this stronger with less, but it will still not beat out the Duramic PLA Plus. Now this is just me messing around in my garage. It doesn't have a carbon fiber amount listed in it. It doesn't say that it's like 20% carbon fiber or anything. So this is what I chose to go with. It printed pretty good. Tech Bear is really good in that aspect. Big fan of that. Bought a lot of their filament. I'm curious to see if you guys ever used any carbon fiber. What your experience was. Please leave in the comments down below. Let me know, you know, what your experiences were and if you found a carbon fiber that's really friggin' strong, a PLA carbon fiber, that would be really helpful for me. Another thing that I was hoping for is that maybe it would be lighter. So I made two cubes, 20% infill, the same nozzle size and everything, and they weighed the same. It was 0.3 ounces, so there's no difference in weight. I thought weight would be a huge factor, but they weighed the same. So, I mean, my conclusion on this stuff, I love Tech Bear. I love their filaments. I will continue on buying their stuff. Their carbon fiber, it's a little more difficult to print in, and it's not as strong as their regular PLA. So, I'm going to have to pass on this. I'm not a huge fan of their carbon fiber. I'd rather just go with their regular PLA. And as far as strength, uh, I, I know you guys think I just favor Duramic 3D because they send me stuff. You guys made comments. You know, I'm a sellout, this, that, the other thing. I don't stand behind stuff I don't believe in, and their stuff is friggin' awesome. And I'll tell you right now, if tomorrow they said to me, I'm not sending you any more filament, I already have it in my Amazon wish list to buy it. So, you know, I hope they keep sending it to me. If they don't, my favorite is the Black PLA Plus. I have it in my friggin' wish list to buy again. So, you know, and it's not expensive stuff. It's not like they're giving me a fortune worth of stuff. I think it's like 40 bucks for two rolls and it works really well and it's very very strong that's it for me guys make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way and if you want to see more of my craziness go ahead and hit that bell icon to get notified when I make a video and remember you could do anything if you put your mind to it later guys 55 I know what you're thinking, Crazy Will's Tech Show's over, what do I do now? Real simple guys, you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos. It's not over, I made a lot. It's been a good year.